The iPhone surpasses Samsung's Galaxy lineup in sales last quarter. Samsung then surprises us with the launch of the Galaxy S4 Black Edition, and Lenovo CEO says that he can beat both companies with the purchase of Motorola. I'm Jaime Rivera, and you know what they say, Lenovo, if you can't beat them, you join them. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as consumer intelligence research partners have just launched their numbers for sales last quarter. And it is surprising that the iPhone is now winning in the United States and they're actually winning by a large number. They own 45% of the smartphone market according to these analytics. And then Samsung is down actually from 34% to 31% in this quarter, obviously because of the fact that we're already waiting for the Galaxy S5, but weird because the Galaxy Note 3 was launched. So uh, let's see how next quarter shows up. Hopefully we will see more Galaxy phones. And speaking of Samsung and more Galaxy phones, the company has just surprised us with a new black edition of the Galaxy S4 and uh, Galaxy S4 mini as well. Now, this is pretty much the same Galaxy S4 when it comes to internals and the faceplate, but the only difference is that you get a new back cover and this back cover is the new Fox leather that we see on the Galaxy Note lineup, which is great. It's great for us to see that standardization. The problem is that obviously it is the same Snapdragon 600 processor. It's the same specifications and uh, it's only available in Russia right now so stay tuned we don't know where it'll land on other countries now let's talk about Microsoft as Bloomberg is now reporting that they know who is the next CEO of the company. We've got Satya Nadella, and I hope that I pronounced that right, which has worked for the company for 20 years. And apparently this is the best candidate for CEO as this is actually the only guy that hasn't talked dirt about Microsoft's products when ever been interviewed when compared to Stephen Elop, which that really happened. But honestly, the sad news here is that apparently somebody that's also stepping down is Bill Gates' chairman. Once this happens, apparently somebody else will be named which is really, really bad as the founders of Microsoft are pretty much gone. Hopefully this won't happen. And if you thought that Google had pretty much given up on their whole hardware project, well, it turns out that they haven't. The company keeps snatching companies that are focused on wearables, just like Apple. And rumors have it that they're working on more wearables like smartwatches, aside from Google Glass, which is really interesting because aside from that, we also have news that Asus and Acer are preparing their smartwatches. Now we could probably see these at MWC, so stay tuned. That's gonna be the year of smartwatches, 2014. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, even though Lenovo CEO came on record to state that they didn't have a specific strategy to revive Motorola, one of the things he did say on another interview is the fact that he is planning to defeat Apple and Samsung in the next couple of years with Motorola, as that combination is actually making them the third biggest smartphone manufacturer in the world, according to him. Uh, really interesting claims. Uh, that leads me to the question of the day. Do you think that actually Lenovo has the power to do this? Do you think that they can defeat Apple and Samsung? Because in my particular case, after using a couple of Lenovo smartphones, I would say not a chance, especially with the fact that the Moto X and Moto G never really took off significantly. But leave us a comment down below. What do you think? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next week.